going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i got a special video so i'm going to show you how i edit my cinematic blue hour c photography photos and also i'm going to actually going to give you a free preset so you guys can try it at home so without further ado let's get this video started now before we get into lightroom i'm going to tell you guys a couple tips and tricks that you can do in your camera so you can actually get that cinematic look the first tip is actually going to be taking the photos during blue hour so you guys can get that contrast between blue and the warm colors such as the reds and the orange so this way you know your photos can get that nice film cinematic look the tip i have for you guys is actually to not be afraid to bump up your iso on your camera so that way you know you can get that nice crunchy cinematic film look in your photos and the third and final tip that I have for you guys is not to only shoot in portrait mode but also shoot horizontal so that way you know you guys get that nice cinematic film look when you actually do it in Lightroom at a 16 by 9 ratio. Alright guys so I'm just gonna go over one photo over here and then the rest you'll see through some lo-fi beats in here and there but the first thing I'm gonna do is actually set my photo at 16 by 9 so that way it gets that cinematic film type look you know everybody likes that. Um, this looks good already, but I just want to get that look right there. And so the next thing I'm going to do is custom my white balance over here only because I wanted to get, you know, blue hour, get a little more blue, get a little more warm colors here. So I'm just going to tone it down or cool it down here. And, and now I'm going to come over here to the tent and just head to the magenta, followed by the exposure and contrast i'm going to actually set it to negative five reduce it highlights reduce those highlights for right now because they're already like you know they're already kind of blown out here and there bring back some of those shadows here which is really nice and the whites i'm actually going to boost it up a little bit and now i'm actually going to bring the black all away to a hundred and you'll see why now for the clarity here, it's totally up to you. I was using a Freewheel Glow Mist filter. Um, I do actually set a little bit more than what I get from the filter. So I'm gonna put it around 30-ish, or you can do it however you want it to. If you're not using a Freewheel Glow Mist filter, whatever you wanna call it, um, just play with the clarity and see how you like it. And now this is actually one of the fun parts here. We're gonna head into the tone curve. And what I'm going to do is set three points, one for the shadows, highlights, and one for the mid-tones. What I usually do is grab the most left down point and actually bring it up. It's going to look a little bit flat, but I'll bring it up a little bit later, as you can see over here. And yeah, just play around. As you can see, it could get more contrast here. It's starting to look really nice. And honestly, this looks pretty good already if you just want to stop here, but I'm just going to color grade it in a little bit. I'm going to head to my red tone curve. I'm going to experiment here and there. Looks too green here, but I'm going to bring it back. You'll see how. Let's set this point over here. We're going to move this top one over here in the highlights. And now we're gonna head to the greens. You can see I did the same thing here. It's starting to look a little contrasty. Now for my favorite tone curve, it's gonna be the blues. You can play around with this. If you want it too green or not too green, up to you. And now we're gonna head over to the split toning. So what I usually do is actually add a little saturation first during the highlights and then I move my hue bar over here. So you can see you're starting to get that cinematic type greenish look that I add to my photos. Probably leave it at there. And then I play around with the shadows. Not too much on the shadows because if you ever do it, it's just gonna look really bad. It's just going to cover the whole area with whatever color you choose. So I set it around 7 and 11 around there. I'll probably leave it right there and I start playing with the hue, saturation, and luminance. 
basically to get the colors that I need or want. When it comes to this part, it's up to you guys how you want it to look like because you're messing around with the colors here more. Um, so that way, you know, if you want to be more greenish or you want it to be more orange or cool or yellow, it's totally up to you. And when it comes to saturation, the same thing applies. If you want to be oversaturated, undersaturated. I know some people like oversaturated cinematic look or undersaturated cinematic look. And then same goes for the luminance, totally up to you how you want to see it. I'm just gonna go back and play with the hues a little bit more. It's starting to be a little more cinematic, glowy, which I like. I'm gonna bring back some of the shadows. Maybe bring down some of the highlights around there. And I'm going to go down here and actually add some grain to the photo to give that a nice little cinematic look. And yeah, that's going to be do it for this one. And I hope you guys enjoy the next two set of photos while I'm editing in them. And enjoy the beats too. Right, guys thank you so much for tuning in to the end and i hope you guys enjoyed that, that tutorial in lightroom for your cinematic photos and also don't forget to download that free preset down below and until the next time peace mm -hmm.